Parliament will not be evacuated from the centre stage of the decision-making process on this important matter. That's simply not going to happen. It's just so blindingly obvious that it almost doesn't need to be stated, but apparently it does, and therefore I have done. We like to think that we know our audience, so whenever a story about John Burko comes up, we know that you'll be interested. So when we saw Burko's fighting talk about no deal and prorogation, we needed to sit down and make a video about it. Before we get into the video though, let me quickly encourage you to check out our new TLDR News pin badges. We made badges for each of the 10 countries where we have the most subscribers, and you can pick up your favourite or the whole collection on our website. These were initially exclusive to patrons, but we got such good feedback and we loved the high quality hard enamel designs that we wanted to share them with everyone. We only have super limited stock left, so be sure to pick them up while you can. You can grab your badge and show your support for the channel over at tldrnews.co.uk forward slash store. So let's start with some context. John Burko is the Speaker of the House of Commons and we made a whole video about his role and his responsibilities. What you need to know for this video is that he has a whole load of control over parliamentary proceedings as well as how bills are amended. That means he's not a huge fan of current talks about shutting down parliament through prorogation. We've explained prorogation before, but if it's a term you're not familiar with yet, then let me explain it quickly. Prorogation is basically the ending of a parliamentary session and refers to the time between the end of one parliamentary session and the beginning of the next. Essentially the plan here is that if the current parliament won't approve a no deal, then Johnson could just suspend parliament and leave it in this prorogue state until the October 31st deadline has passed and then bring parliament back when it's too late for them to stop no deal. We made a whole video on the process of prorogation, so if you're interested, you can check that out. There's a link in the description. Based on parliamentary analysis and previous votes, it's clear to say that a majority of MPs don't like the idea of a no deal Brexit. That means that if Johnson attempts to lead the UK out of the EU without a deal, an outcome he sees as acceptable, then MPs might try and block the move. There's a number of instruments that MPs could use to try and block a no deal, but that's a whole topic that we don't have time to cover right now. The problem with most of these strategies is that if Johnson did choose to prorogue Parliament, then MPs wouldn't be able to do a whole lot to stop no deal. If Parliament is shut down, then most of the strategies don't work and Johnson can just wait until a no deal automatically happens on October 31st. So it might sound like Johnson holds all the cards here, and while MPs can make things harder for him, he can ultimately shut them down. Well, John Burko's recent statements seems like he won't let this settle without a fight. Speaking at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival, Burko said, The one thing I feel strongly about is that the House of Commons must have its way. And if there's an attempt to circumvent, to bypass, or, God forbid, to close down Parliament, that would be anathema to me. I will fight with every breath of my body to stop that happening. We cannot have a situation in which Parliament is shut down. We are a democratic society, and Parliament will be heard. Burko is clearly very against the idea of the executive shutting down the legislature in order to take control of the situation. This is a very unusual move, and it goes against the democratic norms of the arms of government working together to distribute power. Johnson and the executive effectively shutting down the legislature means that the only force that can go against them is the judiciary. But there's basically no way that the courts would have time to step in in order to stop a no deal, even if they wanted to. This means that prorogation is essentially the executive, the government, taking all of the control for themselves. Burko sees this very unusual move as undemocratic, considering it takes away all power from the MPs that the electorate chose to represent them in Parliament, it certainly doesn't look great. Burko remarked that nobody is going to get away, as far as I'm concerned, with stopping that happening. Nobody should be afraid to say what he or she thinks. When Burko was asked if Parliament could actually pull this off and stop No Deal, he simply stated, yes. Burko seems determined to let MPs decide the country's destiny, and if that means blocking Johnson's prorogation, then he seems happy to do so. I do respect tradition, and I do respect precedent, but it's important to have a degree of political and intellectual flexibility when thinking about these matters. We cannot be exclusively guided by tradition, in a sense of what's happened before, or nothing would ever change. The clip we showed you at the beginning of this video was from a couple of months ago, but it does show how Burko's views have remained the same. He believes that MPs have a right and a duty to be part of the process, and he'll fight against efforts to shut down Parliament to give Johnson the ability to force through a no deal. 
It'll be interesting to see how this fight plays out in the coming months, with only 77 days left until the Brexit deadline. We will of course continue to keep you updated on this and everything else related to Brexit, so if you're interested in that make sure to subscribe to the channel. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified every time we release a video, and you can find more stuff from us across other social networks simply by searching for TLDR News. Also, if you want your name to appear at the end of the videos, just like these people, then be sure to sign up to our Patreon. There's a link to that in the description.